Lara. So we're going to have a look at text today. Um, so we're just going to add some text quickly so you can see where to do that. And we're going to talk about a feature that's called kerning as well. So first of all, we're going to click here on the left hand side on the text icon and we're just going to type out a word or something. I'll just pop my name in here. So I am Jolene. Now from here, what we can do is of course to change fonts. Now I'm going to go up here to the font area and what we can do here is to click on only kerned fonts. So basically back in the day, Cricut used to separate out letters. So even if you chose a font like this that was supposed to be attached, it would actually have big gaps in between the letters and it was a really big pain in the bum to fix up. Now, unfortunately, you will still sometimes find that some of the fonts don't actually end up being glued together like this. So especially with your system fonts, Cricut has fixed up all of their fonts and I find that most of the system fonts work. But if you find that it's separated out, we do have videos about how to move the letters closer together and how to glue them up so that they become one word the way that flowing fonts are supposed to be. If you want to avoid that altogether and you don't want that job, you can come and click here on only kerned fonts. You can read a bit more about it here. So they basically fonts that have already been spaced for you correctly so that it displays the way that it should. And now that we've selected to only use Kern fonts, we know that any of these fonts that I'm looking at are going to be um, spaced correctly. Once we've ticked that box, you can go ahead and select any font you possibly want. Let me just select something randomly here and wait for it to change. My internet is a bit slow today. There we go, that looks beautiful, right? So now I have my letters all connected my font looks beautiful. I don't have to go and work at this for too long, which is awesome. So I highly recommend you select this only Kern fonts box unless you really had your eyes set on a font and it's not Kern on Cricut Design Space, but it makes life so much easier. So from here though, we can't go ahead and just click on make it just yet. The reason for that is because we actually haven't glued our pieces together. So even though it looks, everything looks perfectly fine here, what you're going to find is that the letters, let me ungroup this and I'm going to change the color here so you can see what I mean. And I'm going to just send this to the back. So currently the letters aren't glued together. They're still separate. They are just in the right spots. So you can see here that the O has got this tiny bit of a tail going into the L. Now your Cricut machine is actually going to cut out this little tail of the O, which means that in a sense, you're going to have a gap in the L. So your Cricut machine is going to cut out your L like this. All right, so that your O is going to be in one piece, but your L will have a little piece cut out of it. And the same thing will happen here with the E, which has got a tail going into the N and the N going into the E there. So we need to fix that before we go ahead and cut our letters out. So let me go back to this. So from here, what we need to do before we can cut it is to select our letters and what we want to do is weld things together. So remember welding is kind of like taking a welding machine in the garage if you're operating with metal and you meld one piece of metal to another and you essentially glue them, they melt together. So they don't have separate lines anymore. And welding in Cricut Design Space does the same thing. So this little tail that went here into the L is going to melt into the L so that those lines disappear completely. So I'm gonna click on weld. And now we've got one single word that's very, very smooth and any extra lines have been removed. So all we have to do at this point is to go ahead and resize it for our project and we can click on make it and we're ready to go. So just so you know though, if you are writing out your letters and they have got weird spacing in between them, meaning they look something like this instead of what they should be looking like, 
That means that Cricut Design Space doesn't know how to work with a font very properly. And it will do something weird like this. So when this happens, it means that kerning doesn't work for the specific font that you have chosen. And you will actually manually have to move these letters closer together. And we do have videos that cover all of that information just here in this course to make life easy for you. So that's pretty much it. So I highly recommend though that when you type out your letters that you do go with a kerning feature because it really just makes life so much simpler. Um, the other method is really, really frustrating. So it's been really awesome to see Cricut Design Space add this new feature. Really easy to use when you go to fonts. Just make sure that this is ticked and it will automatically do everything for you to make sure that your letters are connected the way that they should be. And that's it. Just a little short and sweet little video for you to understand the whole kerning feature here in Cricut Design Space and why you should have that box ticked so that you can simplify your designing process. All right, until next time. Bye for now.